We would like to welcome you today to the Maranatha Minute, where we take one minute of your day to give you an encouraging word from the Word of God. Well, good Wednesday morning, everybody. It's good to be back with you on this beautiful Wednesday that the Lord's given us. We've been talking about how God is our hope, another characteristic of God. Really, he is the only hope that we have. And we're going to be in the book of Romans again, chapter number five. We're going to look at three verses quickly. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into his grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. We rejoice in hope today because of what God has done for us, even in the hard times. He goes on in verse three and talks about those tribulations, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. That brings us our hope today. Uh, that is where our hope lies, and that's why we can rejoice in this hope that God has given us today. It's not us. Uh, Paul makes it very clear in verse number two, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. He deserves our praise and our worship, but he, does, he, he wants us to rejoice today in the hope that he has given us through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'll ask you again today, do you have that hope in your life? If you don't, you can call upon the name of Jesus and have the everlasting hope of the glory of God in your life. Rejoice in the hope of God today that's in your life. Remember today that Jesus loves you and we love you and we're praying that you have a great day. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today in the Maranatha Minute. Our prayer is that you have been encouraged through the word of God.